sure this is the script for this week? It looks pretty big. <laughs> oh, uh, hey guys, this is Harun from Feedback.com and this is the weekly feed, MWC edition. You could have told me you were filming. So TCL came out with news about a new BlackBerry smartphone this week and it's called the Key One. Now it's repping Android and it does have the keypad, don't worry guys. It's going to launch globally in April and we're looking forward to seeing what BlackBerry has in store for us. Now one of the first big flagships to come out from MWC 17 was the LG G6. Now the big thing about this phone is its display and while it's a 5.7 inch screen with HDR support, the phone on the other hand is not as big. Because of the minimal bezels it uses, it's able to cram a big screen in a smaller sized phone. Now we're looking forward to getting it for review and as soon as we do, the unboxing and review will be out at feedback.com so be sure to follow us now. Nokia returns to the world of smartphones with a little bit of a bonus. The Nokia 3310 is back and uh, it seems better than ever. It's colorful, it has more features and it still has snake which is what I came here for. Now it seems to be priced at a very nice point of around $50 and while it may not be people's first choice of phone, it's still something you'll buy and keep as a bit of a nostalgic reminder of what Nokia used to be like. Now HMD also announced three new Nokia Android smartphones. Now they're each priced differently, the Nokia 3, 5 and 6. You can check out the full details of the Nokia Android smartphones in our article linked below. Man, Sony is all over the place this week at MWC 17. We have four new phones coming out from Sony. Now the first two are a mid-range phone, the Xperia XA1 and the Xperia XA1 Ultra. Now these come with a cool new borderless design and a pretty good camera to boot. So be sure to check them out later. Now the main talking point of Sony's presentation was the XZ Premium. Now this is the world's first smartphone with a 4K HDR display. That's pretty cool. And it might just be the first phone with the Snapdragon 835 to ship out. And apart from smartphones, Sony had something interesting to showcase. Now, the Xperia Touch Projector basically acts as an Android powered device, similar to a tablet, but instead of interacting with a display, we interact with the projection itself. Now, this is a pretty cool concept that they showcased about a year ago, and it's nice to see it finally come to the market. We can't wait to get our hands on it. Well, we were expecting a smartphone from Oppo, but instead we got something a little better. Oppo showcased a new technology which allows cameras to zoom in up to five times without any digital enhancement. Now, this is something which is pretty revolutionary, to be honest, because up until this point, it was not possible for a mobile camera to zoom in this far without the help of software. Now, we're looking forward to seeing this implemented in a phone and hopefully we'll get our hands on it pretty soon. The Huawei P10 and P10 Plus are coming this March. The return of the dual Leica Camera Pro Edition is what has us here at Feedback.com pretty excited. We can't wait to see how it compares to the original and the P10 Plus specifically seems to be made out to be the flagship smartphone killer this year. We can't wait to get it and see how exactly it compares to all the other phones out there. And entering the Android Wear 2.0 scene, we have the highly anticipated Huawei Watch 2. Now what's special about this is that it comes in a wide variety of styles and two variants, a sporty and a classic look. Now one of the coolest features that we liked about this smartwatch is that it comes with its own dedicated SIM slot, which means it can work, it can work separately from your smartphone. Now for the full details about the Huawei Watch as well as the P10 and P10 Plus, be sure to check out our article linked in the description below. Now Xiaomi was MIA from MWC this week, but that didn't stop them from making their own news. At an event in Beijing, Xiaomi announced their very own specially developed chipset called the Surge S1, as well as a smartphone that makes use of it, the Xiaomi Mi 5C. Now the Surge S1 has been compared to the Snapdragon 825 as well as the MediaTek P10. Now, while this is perfect for mid-range smartphones, this isn't all that Xiaomi has cooked up for us. It seems they also have a high-end processor in line and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us. And that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check <coughs> out. Almost forgot. There's also been some Samsung news this week. Now, Samsung already announced their official teaser image and video for the Galaxy S8 and it's gonna be announced on March 29th. But 
doesn't really matter. We already know what it looks like. Now, there's been a ton of leaked images and videos this week. We know what it looks like. We know what it feels like. And honestly, it's a little bit surprising that they haven't removed the 3.5 millimeter jack yet. I, I personally like it and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the features have in store for us for the Samsung Galaxy S8. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and let us know what you think was the best moment of MWC 2017 in the comment section below. We'll see you next week.